That's the spot. Look, this is what regular dodging looks like. Like, in the speed of regular dodging, you can't really dodge back to back without the ninjutsu cancel. So you're bound to get hit like that. That's what happens. You can't, you can't, you can't take it off. Okay, now this is where we get into the real movement. Which are ninja to now. Actually allows you to dodge faster. Finding the ninjutsu that best fits your own fighting style is the key to attaining victory. So, you're going to be out here doing stuff like this. Putting your movement to the top. Speed. Dodging on another level. We're going to be teaching you boys how to do this today. Oh, that's the first one, though. Okay. All right. Just messing around. I just wanted to get in and teach you guys exactly what you're supposed to be doing when you when you get to this part of the training, basically. So, first things first. First thing on the list. I do want to say this. I have back buttons on my controller. So, I've made it a little bit easier for myself. Some people may have to switch their button layouts, you know. So basically I have block on my back button and I have jump on my back button. The jump doesn't really matter though, but the block is important. So I'm gonna teach you guys exactly what you gotta do to get this one done. So here, let's, let's get rid of these guys real quick. Let's get rid of these guys. I think if I kill him it ends, huh? Yeah, no. Aside from basic ninjutsu, Okay, yeah, secret technique. Okay, first step of doing this, you're gonna wanna block. No, you know what? You know what? I like to do it like this: chakra jump, so that when you when you're in this position, then hold block. Then you should come like this. Do not let go of chakra jump, then hold block. Do not let go of block, but then you're gonna tap a direction, tap a direction, but you're also gonna. You're also going to clap your ninja to cancel ninja to at the same time, okay? So That's how you do it. You're going to hold block, hold chakra jump, and you're going to pick a direction and cancel in that direction. So you're going to dash, dash, cancel, dash, cancel, dash, cancel. And you got to you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention because the real way to do this is, is to watch not only the guy you're fighting, but the other guy that is trying to catch you also. You can see him in the back. Yeah, you see that? You see that? You got to be ready to pick a direction that you want to go in and dodge. So, it's going to take some people a lot of training, man. I'm not going to lie. It takes some training to really, to really look at the people's movements, to learn the ninjutsus. To learn how to dodge certain ninjutsus. You know, certain, some ninjutsus you can dodge to the left or the right. Some ninjutsus you have to backflip and dodge backwards. Some ninjutsus you gotta you gotta weave, weave, and jump weave. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they explode on the ground and, you know? So you have to practice and train yourself with the movement. So you have to put the movement incorporated with your jumps. Incorporated, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is gonna allow you to weave around corners weave up walls here i could show you like if i go down here if i just go down here i don't want to walk off the map and i mark one of them look you can weave up the walls you know what i'm saying you can move up and down the walls faster than most people can get up the walls so most people can't do it like that you know what i'm saying we're gonna go into this in and talk a little bit about the ninjutsus that you can use to do this so now <clears throat> really quick we're gonna go through all the ninjutsus in the healer class that you can use for your movement and unfortunately i'm sorry i love heals this is one of my favorite classes but you can only do it with so many jutsus so for healers you got summoning slug 
You have Shadow Possession Jutsu. And you also have Lava Style Dissolving Jutsu. So these are the healer jutsus you can do it with. You can't hold any of the rest of these jutsus and move with it. You have to be able to hold it and move. Okay, because you can't hold, let's say, this right here. You can hold Thunder Blast, but you're not going to move. You need to be able to move while you hold these jutsus. So let's go through range really quick. And let's talk about the ninjutsus range has. Range has a lot of ninjutsus, and this is why I like I've been messing around with range for a while. So, range has Phoenix Flower Jutsu, Summoning Slug Salamander, Lightning Style Shuriken Net. It has Fireball Jutsu. You also can use Detonating Clay Twin Birds. You can use Phoenix Flower Flame Scarlet Claw. Wow, that was a mouthful. You can use Shiganami Dance. You can use Majestic Destroyer Flame. You can use Water Style Water Dragon. You can use Severing Wave. You can use... I think that oh and Chikishoto. So you can use all of those skills in range to do this movement. Now I feel like I'm gonna make a better video of put together like the list of the skills on the side for each class and let you guys see this. But I just really wanted to get this out for y'all. So I wanna I wanna get everybody on the movement game with me and let's have some fun. You know what I'm saying? So we got people stop running. But for defense, we got petrifying jutsu, you got mud wall. You got Summoning Toad. You got Silent Strangle Jutsu. You also can do it with Water Shark Bomb. You also can, I believe, Toad Oil Bomb. If not, I, I, I forgot. I forget about Toad Oil Bomb. You can do it with Dragon Flame Bomb. You can do it with Barto Stream, Thunderclap Arrow, and Guiding Thunder. So those are the, all the skills you can do it. With on defense, let's slide over to ATK, baby. ATK, they also kind of got a nice, decent amount of jutsus. You can use Snake, Great Snake. So basically, every summoning works. You can use Great Snake. You can use Wood Dragon. You can use Burning Ash, Flaming Meteors. And that's about it. Actually, I had a decent, but that was it. That was it. But those are the ninjutsus you can use to actually cancel. So I'm going to just grab one real quick. Something like Flaming Meteors and, uh, I don't know, Rising Gun. You know, make a quick build for you boys. You know, just get in there and show y'all how the movement looks. What it looks like when you win some real fights. Real quick, like we said, we start this off. Holding our chakra jump. Then we grab push block. Remember, we don't let go of these buttons. Then as you dash forward, push the ninjutsu and cancel. Push ninjutsu and cancel. Then you're in it. Now you're in it like this. You feel me? Now you're in it. Now once you get in that movement, you get in that vibe. Once you get going, you got to be watching your opponent. Who you pick and who's around. Who's, who else is trying to attack you, you know? So the movement is all about, a lot of about your eyes. You feel me? And the main thing about this movement is you want to move to the right as much as possible. Now, the right actually auto-dodges for you. It will auto-dodge backwards if you get close enough and you keep moving right. Right there, as you can see, like, if you auto-dodge, you move to the right. Okay. Come on, come on. Move to the right. Bam. That backflip is an auto-dodge. As you're just clicking right, it'll do it for itself. As you see, you can pop your flaming meteors off and still, you know, you can still play. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a it's just a, a skill to really upgrade your movement. Just get a little bit faster out here, you know, rather than choosing to run. You know, maybe, you, you, you know, maybe some people can pick up the movement and stop running. You feel me? But yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. Tsunade, perfect. Tsunade, perfect. Come on, Tsunade. Ooh. Oh, you see, and that's what I mean. Like, it don't dodge everything. So sometimes you got to be ready. You know, you see somebody throwing a heavenly foot of pain. You got to be able to, you know, weave your, your dodges regularly like you would dodge a heavenly pain. You know, and that's the thing about this movement. It's all about bringing it, tying it, incorporating it with your actual attacks, you know. And another tip is you can actually do all of this while you charge. So if you charge... And you ninjutsu cancel, 
rather than like regular dash cancel like like th this regular this regular people just be doing it like that just trying to regular dash cancel and stuff but nah i hold mine and i do it with my ninjutsu so that way listen that way when you're on the ground you can just keep going you see what i'm saying like you can just keep going you don't have to you don't have to stop like when you're doing the regular cancel charges with your attack charge you stop but if you do it with the ninjutsu cancel you actually can you actually can keep going to the side like so if i was like do it like that that's regular you know that's right oh it, uh, i kind of can't pop the ninjutsu off there but that that's the point like that's the thing you can cancel a lot faster and keep moving but you're charging forward and attacking so you got people like bubble blowers or maybe the gun users maybe even like the lapis fang users you're going to be dodging as you're pushing forward you see what i'm saying you got to be careful you got to be careful here let's let's pick a target yep see see kakashi seen me coming but yeah this this movement is actually next level and y'all gonna love it trust me when you get it down and you understand what you got to do. Now, it's going to be a little harder for people without back buttons. Because remember, block is on my back. So I just hold chakra jump, block, and then I dash, ninjutsu, cancel, dash, ninjutsu, cancel, dash, cancel, dash, ninjutsu, dash. It's like nin ninjutsu, cancel it. Ninjutsu, cancel it. Ninjutsu, cancel it. You see, you cancel it with a, a direction on your on your controller. You just cancel it with a direction. But you, it, the, but the faster the better. The faster the better, right? The faster the better, right? So that's what it is. The faster. You see that? Just weave Sasuke's thing right there, and then put a combo on him. You see what I'm saying? And then boom, boom, boom. Like that. That's how you want to play people. That's how you're gonna want to incorporate it in your um, combat. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be easy at first, but I recommend moving to your right, moving to your right, because all players swing with their other with their right hand so move to the right your first dodge should be dodge to the right this will this will break ankles a lot more than you know this will break ankles a lot more than you know you can just spam right spam right this this way is crazy it's crazy let me see when you get to right get mad at us you know what i'm saying so come on right. oh we out of that you know what i'm saying side what you want Boom. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. I love y'all. Y'all got to get out there and try the Kimura Kage step. You feel me? The right Kage has brought the new level of movement to the Shinobi Striker, baby. Y'all start letting these boys know movement is the new skill gap. Let's go crazy, boys. Drop a like on this video. You know what to do. Subscribe if you're new, baby. And let's get it in. I want to see y'all out here with your movement. I want to see the movement out here, boys. I want to see some movement. Straight up. No more running. We all got to be moving now. We got to be moving from now on. So let's get it cracking, boys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. One more time. Block. Chakra. Chakra jump. Block. And then you ninjutsu. Cancel. Ninjutsu. Cancel. Ninjutsu. Cancel. Ninjutsu. Cancel. Enjoy, boys. Have fun. Go crazy on them. Go out there and start mixing people up, man. Let's get it.